Hello friends, welcome to Cafe Crew channel. Today's video is about cool and super easy CMD commands which can help you to look cool at your workplace or among your friends. Please watch the complete video and definitely share and subscribe for more. I will tell you 8 cool command prompt tricks that you would find very useful. Using these tricks will definitely allow you to use Windows in a much more secure and effective way, and also give you access to a host of power features that you otherwise wouldn't be able to access. Watch the full video so that you do not miss a super cool bonus trick that is likely not known to people. First trick, create a Wi-Fi hotspot. You can also use the command prompt to create a Wi-Fi hotspot on your Windows PC, and share your internet connection with multiple devices, all without having to use any third-party apps whatsoever. To do this, just follow the steps, launch command prompt, and type net shwlan set hosted network mode equals allow ssid equals hotspot name key equals password. Replace hotspot name with the name that you want for your Wi-Fi hotspot, and replace password with the password you want to set. Hit enter. Next, type net share and start hosted network and hit enter, and your Wi-Fi hotspot will be broadcast, and other devices will be able to connect to it. Also, if you want to stop broadcasting your Wi-Fi hotspot, simply use the command. Second trick, hide folders using command prompt. While there is an easy way to hide folders on Windows by using the properties pane of the folder and checking the checkbox that says hidden, the method is not very useful as the folders hidden using this method can easily be viewed if the view options are changed to show hidden files and folders, making it a pretty useless feature. However, using the CMD trick, you can hide your folders in such a way that they will be completely hidden, and Explorer won't be able to display them at all. Simply follow the steps, launch command prompt, and navigate to the directory where your target folder resides. Type a trip and h and s and r folder underscore name, replacing the folder underscore name with the name of the folder that you want to hide, and press enter. You can now check that the folder is indeed hidden inside Windows Explorer and cannot be seen by anyone. To unhide the folder, you can use the command trip hsr folder underscore name. Note, hidden folders can be viewed using the cmd command dir slash a. Third trick, save a command's output to a file, an incredibly useful command prompt trick is the use of redirection operators, like greater than sign operator. These little characters let you redirect the output of a command to a file, giving you a saved version of whatever data the command produced in the command prompt window. For example, let's say you're about to post a computer problem to an online forum and you want to provide really accurate information about your computer. An easy way to do that would be to use the system info command with a redirection operator. For example, you might execute system info greater than sign cclon backslash my computer info dot text to save the information provided by the system info command to that file. You could then attach the file to your forum post. Fourth trick, view a drive's entire directory structure, I think one of the neatest little commands is the tree command. With tree, you can create a kind of map of the directories on any of your computer's drives. Execute tree from any directory to see the folder structure under that directory. With so much information created with this command, it's probably a good idea to export the results of tree to a file so you can actually look through it. For example, tree slash ac colon backslash file name dot text. Just as explained in the last command prompt trick about redirection operators. Fifth trick encrypt files using command prompt one of the most useful things that you can do using the command prompt is encrypting your sensitive data encryption is a way to prevent others from taking a peek at your data and it's a really important part of ensuring to some extent at least that your files are only yours with this simple command prompt trick 
you can easily encrypt files on your Windows PC. Simply launch the command prompt, and change your working directory to the folder where your files are. This can be done by using the cd command. Once you're done, type cipher slash e, and hit enter. This will encrypt all the files that were inside the folder. Sixth trick, find a website's IP address, do you, like to know the IP address of a website? You can use the ns lookup command or the ping command but the former is probably faster. First, let's use the ns lookup command to find the IP address of google.com. Just execute ns lookup google.com and view the result. Make sure you don't confuse any private IP addresses that also show up in the NS lookup results alongside the public IP address of google.com which is what IP address we're after. Now let's try using the ping command to find it, execute ping google.com and then look at the IP address between the brackets in the first line shown. Don't worry if the ping command times out during execution, all we needed here was the IP address. You can use the same procedure with any website or any host name on your local network. 7th trick, list all installed programs. Another cool trick on the command prompt involves listing out all of the programs that are installed on your PC. This is particularly helpful if you need to uninstall a program using the command prompt. To list out all the installed programs, launch command prompt, and type WMIC product get name. Hit enter, and you will see a list of all the programs that are installed on your PC. You can also use WMIC to uninstall programs, directly from the CMD window. Simply type WMIC product where name like percent name of app to uninstall percent call uninstall slash no interactive and hit enter. Obviously, replace name of app with the name of the app that you want to uninstall from your PC. Eighth trick, autocomplete, command cycling and command history, apart from the tricks mentioned above, there are a couple more that are worth mentioning. While typing in a command, or a path to some file inside the command prompt window, you can press tab to make command prompt auto-complete the command you were typing, or the path you were trying to get at, saving you a lot of time. Pressing the up and down arrow keys can let you cycle through the commands you have used in the current session, and pressing F7 shows up a list of commands that have been used in the current CMD session, making it easy to reuse commands. One thing friends about Windows command prompt tool is that many of its commands might seem boring or even relatively useless at first glance, but as anyone who has ever used the command prompt very often can tell you, there's much to love. It is for everyone who uses a computer. So let's go to the bonus trick 9th and the last trick, use Robocopy as a backup solution thanks to the Robocopy command. You don't need to use Windows backup software or install a third-party program to manage your backups. Just execute robocopy c colon backslash users backslash tim backslash documents f colon backslash backup backslash documents slash copy all slash e slash r0 slash copy t slash mirror. Obviously replacing the source and destination folders with whatever you'd like to backup and where. The robocopy command with these options functions identically to an incremental backup software tool, keeping both locations in sync. You don't have the robocopy command if you're using Windows XP or earlier. However, you do have the scopy command, which can be used to do something very similar, scopy c colon backslash users backslash tim backslash documents f colon backslash backup backslash documents slash c slash d slash e slash h slash i slash k slash q slash r slash s slash x slash y. No matter which command you choose to use, just create a script file containing the command and schedule it to run in task scheduler and you'll have your own custom made backup solution. I use a cloud backup service at my home today, and recommend that you do too, but there were years where I chose to use the robocopy command as my only local backup solution because I liked the level of control it gave me. 
hopefully you take that as a vote of confidence in this incredibly useful command prompt trick. Please subscribe to my channel to get more cool tricks and tips that I will be sharing in the future. So, what are your favorite command prompt tricks that you use frequently and find useful? We would like to know about them. Please like and share this video to educate your friends. Also, if you know of a CMD trick that you think deserves to be on this list, do let us know about it in the comments section below.